Jess and Shell. Welcome to Real Talk Tuesdays with Jess and Shell, where we talk voiceover and some other things. Thanks for watching. So today's episode, we're talking about imperfection is perfection. What does that mean, Michelle? I I wrote a blog post about this because to me this is this is everything. Um, it's my belief. It's like it's my branding. It's everything I feel makes makes you makes me makes everybody authentic. Um, I always use the example of um, when you fall in love with somebody. You never fall in love with them because they have perfectly symmetrical teeth and eyes and like their faces you know, like even or whatever, you know, you fall in love with the space between their teeth, the way they like make a snort sound when they laugh. Um, you fall in love with their weirdnesses or their imperfections, right? The things that are like quirky and I mean, right? Those are the endearing. What makes them different right? than anybody else. And that makes them endearing to you, right? And gives them those, those qualities. So it's always kind of blown my mind when people get on the mic and they're like I'm going to sound perfect they just get like they put on they it's like they put and put on a voice and re, you know we know it is when you approach the mic but, it's like you lean into it become someone else I but there's like a putting on of something it's like that that is what the whole voiceover community is always or coaches are always trying to like wipe off people right they're like stop you know, we can hear you putting on this, I'm putting my voiceover voice on instead of throwing that, like all the coaching in the world is all based on trying to get this habit out of you. Right. But I, I always bring my quirky imperfection to the mic. Like I don't try to put on a voice, you know, I try to connect to what the words are that I'm saying. Mm -hmm. um, and if it's something I can't connect to, I try to find something about it that like I can relate to. Like I just don't and 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 this goes back to like when I audition for things, I don't like sit there and read the audition. I don't even look at it. Like I go into the booth with the audition and I read it Send without it. without even looking at it because when you do that, it it will read more naturally, you know, maybe you'll maybe you'll, you know, you'll do a few reads or whatever, but the first read oftentimes will be the best cuz it's read as if it's occurring to you because it is you know it's like that thing like in the movies where they have someone's holding a coffee and you know it has no weight to it there's no water like no coffee in it no water in it i'm like just put like liquid in it give it weight give it a real Feels yeah like i hate that i'm like i know you have an empty coffee cup why are you doing that there's no reason like you know it's just that and maybe they're worried there'll be an imperfection they'll spill some or whatever yeah that's what we want <laughs> we want we want the that's all the things that are going on in our heads yes what about, this? what about this i feel like i approach a script and i i do bring that more professional like i i do do that a lot and and it depends on what script i'm reading right so if it's like a lifestyle brand video it's going to be a little bit more conversational you can you don't have to worry about the cracks in your voice and i feel like there's other scripts that I do where they want they want it to sound more professional. Yeah, I mean, there's like I always call it like marinating or like infusing. You know, you're still you, still your imperfect you, real thing, but you're infusing it with, a, you know, an air of professionalism or oh, whatever. But sense. but it's not like changing you to this other person. It's still, I guess, it's like right. the whole thing is you still got to bring Jessica to the table. You still need to bring you. Cause you're, you're, you know, just like we always, you know, the snowflake or like your fingertip, like everybody's unique. Right. And so you're bringing what is unique about you to the table and yeah, you can, you know, you're many things and you can, you can still be you, you know, unique Jessica, but you know, with an air of professionalism, you know what I mean? Or with oh, yeah. more of a wonder, like if you're doing more of like a, like a lifestyle thing, more of like a, an awe or a wonder, like I always try to think of an action word to infuse it you know? So, and I'll actually say that before I, you know, if I'm doing a job, I'll say that before, like, you know, awe, wonder, intrigue, whatever it is, you know, I'll say those words in my head. And then I go into the, like that, that will like inform my read and whatever. But yeah. I mean, I don't know, like nobody, nobody likes, nobody can relate to 
something or someone that's perfect, right? Isn't that true? Like when people share like on their, even their social things, they share like the hard things. They share the things they're struggling with. They share the things we all do and, and relate to versus like somebody that just shares everything that's like beautiful and shiny and perfect. And like, it's, it's like, it's, it's not, it's there's not, no depth. There's no depth. There's no accessibility. There's no texture. There's no story that you're telling. And it's, you know, I don't know. I always say that thing of like a beautiful painting is not just pinks and yellows. It's deep purples and grays. And it's a mixture of like, that's all the things, right? That's like the richness of the tapestry or the, or the painting. Right. And, and all of that is part of it. You know, it's like all, it's all that beautiful mix. It's like a, a gum, a gumbo. <laughs> Is that the word? Oh, I was thinking gumball, like a gumball machine with all the colors. <laughs> gumball, no, you're going gumbo, with... you know, it's all food related. <laughs> I love food. <laughs> but I mean, like, honestly, like, what are your, like, just think about like, whenever you share something like imperfect, or you do something goofy, so, that's my favorite part of you, right? So I think what I have noticed now that like, we're, we're talking about this is when I get negative feedback like you're too this you're too mm. soft you're too breathy you're too whatever mm. yeah like oh that's my thing right and so I've been able to do reads for like luxury brands that are more breathy that are are more yeah you have the best voice for that and <laughs> right and so like instead of defining myself from the negative comments and the people that they don't like about me Maybe I should lean into that more. It's like telling you, be less you, you know, like, right? Right. And, like, if you don't they're... want that, then go hire someone else because there's oh. thousands of other people that will be glad to do this and work yes. with you. Yes. <laughs> like, and, I, yeah. I love the clients who are like, yes, I love. And then they're able, they're able to say, okay, I like that. Now let's just add a little bit thing at the end. I'm a very visual person. Mm -hmm. So when I, I'm talking to clients like it goes up at the end or we want to pause here and like yeah. this kind of a pause or this kind of a pause and it keeps going. And so, and then at some point it, the clients can take it and try to make it more perfect. And then they end up going, yeah, I don't like the way it's going. Like I like the original. Yeah. You were talking about, I like that original read. Yes. Well, cause it's probably was the most authentic. Honest. Yeah. The most honest. honest yeah. And, yeah. And I mean, that's the, I mean, it's been the trend for a while and I hope it stays that way because it's all I know how to do. But that just very honest, like real read seem is what they say books. And that's what is, you know, is booking because think about it. Like the world doesn't want to be spoken to, like spoken at, they want to be spoken with, right? Mm -hmm. They want that, they want that person. The biggest feedback I've gotten from people, which like I love is that, you know, you feel credible, but accessible, like relatable, and like, I feel like I would want you to be my friend. Like I would want to know yeah. you. And I'm like, don't That's you cry. <laughs> I'm not crying. Too. You're likable. There's like something about you that's so real. Like that's to me, the biggest gift when you get that back is like, there's something so real about you that makes you just feel like safe. Like, I don't, I, I also liken it to, I used to do like, like the murder mysteries and improv shows. We'd have a, a boat show and there would be like 200 guests on there. Right. And they'd play this amazing music. And I, and my character would go out on the middle of the dance floor and nobody else is there. And I'd start doing like the running man or the, you know, or like the robot or something ridiculous. Right. Or I, I don't know, something crazy. And, you know, of course there's always going to be people, people that are like, Oh, you know, like look at her or whatever. But then, but for the most part, I did that so that people would feel it was a safe space to come out there and just be who you are, all of your imperfections. Let's show it. Let's show it. So by me being that it, it would always allow the guests to come out on the floor and then they would be doing their silly dances and it made it like a safe space. So like I held a safe space by being the bravest one to go out there and be like, you know what? you know, it was my I job. But I loved it, you know, cause it made me feel like, you know, it's like that accessibility. It made it feel like, okay, if she's going to look like that, I'm going to, I'm not going to look any worse than that. I'm going out there. <laughs> right. You know what, Michelle, you would be really great in the booth, like working with someone trying to bring that out of them. Like, I know you do that with yourself, but like, you would be really good as a booth director. Oh, that would be interesting. How could I do that remotely? Do I have to be I around no actually? Idea. I don't do know. I have to be with humans? 
a booth director. Interesting. Yeah. I have directly. I, mean, I don't know if that's a, that's a thing. I have had people come out to, you know, ask me to coach them and I have coached a few people. I don't see my, like, it's so fun. It's like the imposter syndrome. I don't see myself as a coach, even though like I, I have know, a 25 year. Yeah. No. That's why we're doing this instead of like coaching sessions. Yeah, like, nobody's like, paying us for this. Literally. Nope, <laughs> There's nothing Great in my advice. bank account. <laughs> Take it or leave it. We don't Watch feel bad taking not. anybody's money. Nope. There's no money. There's literally no money. We're doing all of this work just for the fun of it. You're welcome. <laughs> but I think the imperfect, I think people should lean into their imperfection. I think that's what's the most beautiful about them. It's the most accessible, the most relatable, the most special. And I think instead of trying to push that away, they should bring that with them. And I, I don't mean you get on and you're like, mess up the script. That's not what I'm talking about. But if you did mess up the script, post about it and be like, I messed up the script. <laughs> because then people will be more like, it lets, what is it? Like, what is that quote? It's like, you, you know, where the cracks are where the, the light, you let the light in or something like the cracks in you are where you let the light in. It's like, it's so true. The crack, if you don't have any cracks, if you're a perfect, you know, whatever, nobody's ever going to be allowed in, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Maybe lean into that a little and know that what you're bringing to the table is uniquely you. So it's special and to not be afraid of that, I guess. Just my little advice. Who am I? You know, that's just my thoughts. Yeah, I, I feel the same <laughs> way. Like, I'm in rural Pennsylvania. Like, you, know? you actually, you, you, so it's funny you say you're in rural Pennsylvania because you literally went out, like, I couldn't hear you for a minute. Oh. So say that again, but. Ex I'm in ex rural <laughs> Pennsylvania. <laughs> Talk about imperfection. Uh, there it is right there. Starlink. Can Which you hear sometimes me falls out and just did. So I may may leave that in just so to prove my point. Uh, there's my imperfection <laughs> right there. Good job. That's what I get to work with. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye. That was perfect. That <laughs> was funny. Literally that is so out. in my imperfection. Like 